Hey everybody, Grandpa's Gaming here, and today I'm going to take a, uh, well, I've already started playing it, pardon me, I'm messing with my mic a little bit, I should have, but I will, okay. Uh, the game is called Osiris New Dawn. I've had it probably a week, and uh, it's still in early beta, it's, uh, I don't know if it's been around for a month maybe maybe not quite that i'm not quite sure it's fairly fairly new i'm even thinking maybe it's been a couple of weeks but we'll say a month and so i'm gonna kind of show you where i'm at with the game uh, i think it's going to come up on like day two but i'm not quite sure uh, i've had to start over several times uh, number one, it's it's a game in beta, so I've had some glitches and things where I ended up having to start over. And there we are. And I'm also going to be messing with my volume here a little bit. That didn't seem too bad. So, okay, I think, I can't remember now what it said. Day two, day three, I wasn't even paying attention when it came across. But I've, I've really only started playing. Uh, I think I restarted uh, in, you know, my own day yesterday. So this is only like the third, maybe fourth time I've gotten on here to play uh, since my restart. So you start in uh, when you start the game. When you spawn in, uh, you get a, a ammo pack. You get a, a pack that's got an inflate, inflatable dome. Uh, you get one other pack that I think's got like emergency rations, that type of thing. And so basically, and also you get your uh, handy dandy little personal assistant, which this is mine. I named it Lucy, but it looks like I have to rename it again because I think I had to, uh, when I start over, I forgot to name it. But anyhow, yeah, you just, you can go up to it, you give it commands, stay, follow, flank, flank, patrol repair, and the, my favorite is patrol mine. And my buddy, uh, Papa Rob, I was watching one of his uh, videos yesterday. And it seemed to me he uh, put the uh, multi-tool in his hand, went up to it, and hit F. Okay, see, this is something I haven't tried to do yet. So then when you're mining, you can uh, left shift, uh, left click with your mouse, and now he can run around with your spare uh, loot. Now that is cool. Uh, thank you, Papa Rob, for uh, doing that in your game so that I could figure it out myself. Uh, another thing with it, your pistol is unlimited ammo. Your assault rifle, I think you start off with, I think, like five clips. Uh, well, maybe that's just five of five, five of five, so... Uh, one was in it. I've never exchanged anything yet, so I'm not quite sure. And then uh, I'm sure you'll have to uh, go mine to get what you need for that. You hit V, and that gives you your outside view, which is pretty cool. So if you don't have anything in your hand, in your inventory on your hand, like right now I'm on number 8, so you can see bottom right. So you can run. And jetpack so you can move pretty quick so I love that that is really cool so until you have a chance to uh, build a vehicle that's the best you know you can now the difference let's put the uh, pistol in my hand go into that view and show you you can jetpack but it's not as effective as having an empty hand doing it. You can go a little higher, a little farther. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so since I started playing, the first thing I did 
was get enough material to make me a depository, which is a fancy word for storage. And then I also uh, made a forge. So then, and that's, and also I made, uh, let's see. I thought I made a, a beacon, which you don't really need the beacon for your home because once you've uh, went into your uh, your cabin or what are, the ca what are things called and you hit F and save it, then this will save you as your spawn points. You see my upper left, that spawn position, it brings that spot because this is then once you save the game, uh, it'll spawn you right here next time. But I do have, Oh, so, so the third, so the third thing that I had, I made, I made some spawn beacons. And so let me kind of just, you don't even have to be anything. Just hit your tab, you know, your backpack, structures, utilities, and furniture. So you make a, this is where you see what you need. I've made a depository, a forge, uh, and then a beacon. I've got material on me. That's why I've got more stuff in my backpack so that I can make a beacon and then you can uh, right click or left click and it'll bring it up on your upper left so I haven't put one out yet which I thought I had but I guess I haven't because I don't see it uh, it must have been one of my other games I had found some hydrogen or some chlorine or whatever it was and I wanted to mark it so I'm not I'm not actually seeing it on oh you know what you got to have your uh, have this in here I think uh, beacon 3 and beacon 8 yeah so beacon 8 is where I've got uh, a beacon where there's a bunch of uh, some stuff real cl not that far and I think it's uh, let's see I think it was uh, hydrogen but I'm not sure Okay, and then uh, the fourth thing that I made uh, last night was my uh, habitat and an airlock. And again, you uh, you would have your uh, materials in your backpack, and then you bring your multi-tool out, and then uh, you would click. Well, you'd have you come over here or anywhere, hit tab. And then it says structures. And it's a little slow. See, okay, so then you can see what this is what I built. You need a steel glass, aluminum, and copper. So you go out and get it and uh, make it. And then the fifth thing was the airlock. Well, then I made after the habitat, then I made what kind of windows I wanted. And then I made an airlock. And then, let's see, I think I made uh, one other thing here. Oh, yeah, the chemistry table. So, like, upper right, or on the right side, there'll be, like, missions. And a build fabricator and habitat is my next thing to do. And what the fabricator is... Let's go over to furniture, and that's this thing right here, a fabricator. So I've got everything, aluminum, glass, and steel, but I don't have plastic, and I don't know how to make plastic. So that was one thing I was going to uh, try to figure out today. Uh, I know there's a rubber tree. Oh, you know what you need for plastic? You need, that's what it was. So I went out, I went back out here to look and I think I needed uh, rubber. Oh, let me look. No, I needed, uh, I wrote this down. To make plastic, you need carbon and hydrogen. And I didn't know how to make the, make that. So uh, I saw my buddy, uh, again, Papa Rob, he made, he had a, a glass bottle with water, and I think he drank it, and then it turned it into uh, empty so he could do it. But I think I can make 
a bottle. I'm not sure. Uh, craft. We got barrel. I was thinking I saw. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's inside here. This is why I haven't really done any recording on this uh, particular game until today because there's so much. The learning curve is, is fairly a lot, but kind of I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So I think on my chemistry table, I hit F. There you go. So glass containers with water, hydrazine, Hydrochloric, uh, phenylalanine, Klein. I can't even call it. Uh, glass container with PC and then uh, fluorescence. But I think uh, you can make maybe an empty, empty one like it says water. And either you need glass, oxygen, and hydrogen, or you need that's what it'll hold I'm not sure but I do have some uh, water bottles over here uh, amount is 50 of 50 so I think that I have to would have to drink it uh, in order to empty it that might be the easiest way to do it but I am not sure uh, when I get to that point you will know it. Um, my, uh, let's, uh, he's kind of uh, mixed up here. Let's take a look in the fossi. And I've got a couple of depositories around too. Uh, I should have actually marked them with a beacon. Okay, so in this one, I've got all this material. And I got me a water there and one there. So I think I'll we'll uh we'll drink one when i get closer to need it i i don't really need it so i hate to waste it but i do need the uh, chlorine so what i'm going to do i need to get uh let's see uh glass i need uh carbon and hydrogen so i'm going to come over here we're going to tell him to follow g and then the cool thing about your personal oh yeah i wanted to rename it that's what i was going to do too so let me get to my multi-tool we're going to look at him we're going to customize we're going to nickname it and uh i'm going to name it lucy because i had a dog named lucy or i've had a couple dogs named lucy and uh i i loved i love my doggies Okay, so what happened here? Now I can't move. We're stuck. So I named it. I hit enter. Okay, I had a kind of, again, you got to remember the game is in beta. It's only been out a couple weeks to a month. So it's got a lot of bugs. Another thing you don't want to do is jump on top of your habitat because I ended up having to uh, restart the game and it, it messed up so anyhow he's gonna follow me or she's gonna follow me and let's see what did I say I needed again I needed carbon so we're gonna do a little exploring it's gonna follow uh, another thing in making like your glass you you need uh, sand so I had to make a uh, shovel and uh so yeah and then you just with the shovel you just point it down and start shoveling it's uh adding sand in my backpack and i don't really need that on me so we're gonna stick it uh oh we're gonna stick it we'll stick it up there and, oh you know and I, I keep forgetting i can load stuff up on lucy so yeah, again, I, I want to thank Papa Rob. Check out his uh, YouTube video. Papa Rob has got some really good uh, footage on Osiris here, also on it. 
excuse me, Imperion, and uh, Farmsum, 15. So he's been doing really good uh, with his YouTube channel. It's growing. Uh, so, yeah, please check him out. Papa Rob, check him out. Okay, so, uh, and another thing your personal assistant will do when you have it come with you. Okay, let's, uh, let's head up over here and we got some, I was going to kind of show you what it'll do. But first, let's, uh, let's see if I can find something smaller to pick on. But, so you're over here and you're mining, your personal assistant's got your back and you see that, uh, larva thingy so we're going to come over here and we're going to pick a fight with it again your pistol you have unlimited uh, ammo so i've already hit him a couple times so now he's going to come over here and pick a fight with me but look at that my assistant is shooting back so that, that's what you want and just like that you it's protected you uh, those other things there are a little little harder. I'm not going to mess with it right now. So, okay, another thing with your uh, personal assistant. Okay, I've got this iron here. We've got aluminum there. So I'm going to back up a tad. It's going to follow me. And I'm going to walk up to him. And with every, anything but your uh, multi-tool, you can come up to it. Tell it to patrol and mine number N. Then you got a bubble, and you put that in the area you want it. Hit F, and now it's going to mine for you, and then it'll go back to the depository, which was uh, back home over there. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's not that. It's the other beacon. Let's see. Uh, i got to set it to, yeah, it'll come up over there. And it'll uh, deposit. So, like you get, like you get in the magnesium. Magnesium is very hard to get because it's uh, they're uh, they're always patrolled by this huge worm, which if you don't get out of the way, it will kill you. And it's, I mean, it's extremely huge. So what you do is either you wait. You, you kind of play with it. You, uh, you get into the crater where the worm's at. You hear it coming because it'll, it'll come automatically. I'm going to stop him. And uh, let's, uh, let's uh, head over towards my other spawner. And uh, we'll do... Uh, and I got enough material on me to go ahead and make a... Uh, a beacon. So I can mark stuff. So we're going to do some exploring. But I'm kind of heading over to where my other beacon is. Which is, uh, I'm going to get my map going again. you got to have that in your hand. It's uh, this way. And only in the hand, but only because I, you have to have it in your hand. And then you, you right click, whatever, to bring up your next uh, spot that you have in the beacon. Then you just can follow the uh, arrow up on the upper left. Now, your personal assistant will not travel as fast as you because you can go up and over and it, it just takes its time. So be aware of that, that it's, it's coming, but it's back there a ways. So all those little shiny rocks around, all those, that's all things that you can get mined up. Uh... So yeah, so what you do is you uh, you get you find the crater, a crater, and there'll be a uh, large worm that'll guard it. So you you can you can dodge them fairly easy. Uh, and once you 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 hear it, you see it, you jetpack out of the way, and uh, then you've got probably about ten minutes to get into there and get the magnesium out. So then what I do, either I do it right then or uh, I just, I send in my drone. And my drone will get the magnesium out for you. So that is, you can send it in the harm's way and you will be fine. So it's saying that my backpack is encumbered. 
110 percent but really this is all i've got i got this glass on me uh oh yeah stuff to make my but really it's not you can get your backpack so full you can't even walk so and there's this red stuff right here if you get in it it'll it'll puncture your suit if your suit gets punctured you've got duct tape on you which i don't have much left so you need to be aware of that and as you can see my uh personal oh there it is right there okay slipped up on me so right now i'm following uh, where i've got beacon three set and we're going to go up over this hill oh there's a worm thingy uh not the one i was talking about but you want to kind of you don't don't really want to pick a fight with them unless you just have to and eventually okay there's a big icky thing oh man uh let's see i can't remember i gotta remember exactly i think i'm getting close to uh yeah some of the uh, hostile on here uh you want to use your uh assault rifle and uh but just when you do remember that it's not unlimited ammo like your uh oh ooh, 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 there i'd landed almost landed in that stuff and i didn't realize that this beacon was this far away you do got a flashlight hit l so that's cool but again remember everything you use like that it, you will eventually have to uh, uh get some type of batteries and all that and i did not realize i came this far for marking the, the hydrogen or whatever is over here that i had yeah there's the beacon right there i can see it and I got a depository over here set up. Oh, I'm an idiot. I had that thing set. I came back home. Ah, I meant. This is running in circles. I meant to go to Beacon 8. I thought I went in circles and messed up there. Okay now what had to be i thought it was taking me forever and somehow or another in messing around with my mouse i had uh, switched it back over to uh, the other uh, if you all know me those who do know me you know that that's me i'm gonna blunder or as uh, my uncle buckshot would say uh, i'm gonna have a, a derby derpy derpy i think he called it i'm being derpy uh again if you want to check out a good youtuber check out my buddy uncle buckshot uh it's buckshot 354 something like that but you can uh, find him uh buckshot uh he's one of my really good friends on here that guy a young monster usually if there's one there's more than one we're gonna try to get around him. I do not want to have to tackle him right now. And they'll always be around deposits, always. But, and once you attack them, they kind of uh, very persistent in coming after you. Yeah, this looks a little better. If I think about it, uh, several of the people who I, I really uh, support, support me, uh, that are in my uh, my group, uh, that we uh, do a lot together on, on here, on different games and stuff, uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, another ugly thingy. Basically, three of us in the group that uh, do uh, YouTube, uh, Papa Rob buckshot 
and Wheels247. Those are guys I, I'd like for you guys to check out. Okay, we're going to get past that thingy. Oh, and there's a couple of them there. And I'm going to land, almost land in that red junk. Again, I did not realize I traveled so far to find this. Did this uh, yesterday or last night. I mess, messing around trying to explore a little bit. Which is not, okay, we're getting close to, excuse me, to the crater, I think. So yeah, if you got a, a spot that you want your uh, personal assistant to, uh, here's a abandoned. Don't tell me I already I went back. How did I how did I do that? I don't know what's going on. I'm back home again. So, uh. What am I doing? How did I do that? I ended up coming all the way back home. I thought I was following my beacon. Beacon 8. Uh, again, I'm going to do it. You know, that's me. How did I do that? Okay, I'm just going to kind of quit talking and let you enjoy my derpiness. So I knew it was on the other side of that. I went up over there and saw that hill with uh, kind of a tunnel going through it. Looks pretty cool. We're just jetpacking around, being an idiot. That's. I'll get up over here and we'll get her this time. And with all this jetpacking, I have left my. Uh, huh. My personal assistant, uh, Lucy, is uh, who knows where it's at. She's at. Trying to keep up, but you can go so much quicker than it. Okay, so I'm $3.99. You can, I'll show you. Boy, I don't know. Where, I don't know how I did that. I went three times as far as I should trying to come over here. Your bottom left, you've got uh, your temperature. It says uh, C. And you got PSI. You got hydro and NTR and your health. Yeah, here we go. Here's my... Uh, I put a depository here and a spawn beacon and down in this pit there is uh let's see let me hit my view again plutonium and then uh chlorine so this is not what i'm looking for i, I need hydrogen but i marked i marked this for that just to show you so if you want your uh you're a little guy that work with you. He could clear this out for you. Or probably about the time I'd get it mined up, uh, he'll show up and then uh, we can uh, bring it back. So let's just mine a little bit. Yeah, this ain't the uh, the pit that has the bad uh, worm. Uh, let me show you a little bit of mining here real quick. Just uh, left click, hit F to pick it up. And you, you can def, and it, it uh, this material uh, resource, it spawns back after a while. So if you got a favorite spot where you want to have resources, yeah, you, you, you want to, uh, Did I break my, uh... oh, I'm full. And once you get too full, you can't mine anymore. So now here I am trying to walk 
Let me show you what it looks like. I am just, I'm overweight, which I'm working on on that. <laughs> but yeah, my backpack is full. So that's kind of one nice thing about having depository close by like that. So I'll just get close to it and we'll hit F, open it up. And we'll put this uh, plutonium. So that stuff must be pretty heavy in there. Now when my, oh! Okay, you can't switch weapons until like in the air, you gotta. Okay, I've never seen one of those things. What in the world was that? A tumble. Take him out. He's not moving too bad. That's nice. There we go. So then uh, when you kill something, you get alien meat. You pick it up if you want. We'll pick it up, but I don't really know what to do with it, so I'm going to stick it uh, in my depository. And it is nighttime. I need to probably head home. Uh, alien meat. Let's uh, see, plutonium. Let's go and take uh, one magnesium back and one plutonium, plutonium back with us. Unless my personal assistant will show up soon. Hit L. Uh, and so that magnesium that I had in there, I had stored from uh, another trip. Okay, I want to... I want to go home, so we got to get to our, our uh, map, beacon. So now I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to take my left click, and I'm going to click. Now it's changed to my spawn, uh, which is my home spawn. So that's how that works. you got your beacon 3, beacon 8. So beacon 3 and my home spawn area are the same, uh, just in case you uh, want to know uh, let's see I gotta hit L again I think because my lights uh... oh, oh there we go I was looking up so we're gonna try to head home here in the dark back towards the spawn yeah when I first started playing this uh, my uh, screen would not wasn't uh, my the game screen wasn't wide enough my monitor so I was missing out on a lot of information uh, I didn't I had, had never known that you could do the spawn position with that arrow on the upper left because it would never never showed up on my monitor until then I was again watching my buddy Papa Rob and I saw that he had that. I go, wow, I'm missing out on that. So I had to do some readjustments on my screen uh, uh, size, whatever you want to call it. And I was able to uh, get it. So that made a difference in night and day in my game because I kept getting lost because I could never see where I'd uh, the spawn beacon things were. So we're going to head home here. Getting close. I think. Yeah. And another thing, your personal assistant, if you've gone over some hills and stuff, it gets uh, caught real easy in uh, on a hill. So, And really, I don't know where it's at. Hopefully he's close by, but hope maybe he... Uh, I don't know where it's at. He'll he'll catch up to me eventually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going into my inflatable dome. Let's turn the light off. Because every once in a while you want to save your game. So you come in here, hit F to activate it. And now it's saving my game. And you can't save it again for another five minutes, it said. So, and that's good. But you really want to do that. Uh, so now that it's dark, you can't really see much. 
Uh, let me see if I've got any lights in here. Probably do. Yeah, there we go. So that's about all I could do right now until I've, I've got to find some, uh, what was it again? Uh, blah, 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 carbon. I need to go find some carbon and hydrogen and figure out how to uh, get that. So I'll bring you back in uh, when I do that or uh, I did not. Let me see how long I've been recording. Let's see if I can figure that out. Uh, trying to look at my OBS here. I probably made this uh, recording long enough. There's not a whole lot that I've done. Kind of give you an idea of what uh, this game is like. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying it. So I tell you what, we'll, we're going to call it uh, here. And uh, stay tuned for more episodes of, uh, of this game, Osiris. If you liked it or didn't like it, uh, hit that like sub and subscribe button. That goes a long way to helping my channel. Uh, I'd appreciate it. The next thing I'm trying to do uh, is I'm trying to make a uh, fabricator. So I need to have plastic, and plastic takes, again, like I said, uh, takes, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, carbon and hydrogen to make plastic. So that's what I'm going to be looking for here. And uh, when I get to that, we'll, ma we'll make another episode of making that, and uh, I'll bring you back in. So again, until the next next episode, uh, y'all have a good day. This has been Grandpa's Big Gaming, and we'll talk to you later.